Also, I just wanted to start the vlog. It is, I think, like, gosh, it's like 2 in the morning or something. And it's, uh, sorry, my hair has got this knot in it for some reason. Ow, it hurts. Oh, my God. Okay, that's what sucks about having long hair. You get these knots in the back of your head, or I do anyways, and it sucks. Like, no matter how many times a day I brush it, which I brush my hair a lot, a lot, I still get these annoying knots. Anyways, I was trying to tell y'all what day it was. It's now Monday, technically, and I think it's the 19th, February 19th. Um, I'm reading Clockwork Prince right now. And I'm actually pretty far along in it so far. I'm on page 173. And so I have this hunch, because you guys know that I love my hunches, and I just like expressing them to y'all. So I don't really know if this is spoilers. It might be. It's probably spoilers, because this is a sequel. So yeah. Um, just if you guys haven't read the Infernal Devices series and are intending on reading it, um, you might want to like skip through this part but um so right now they're trying to find information on Mortman or Mortmain I don't know if that's how you say it he's like the bad guy in this whole thing so they're trying to find information on him so they can take him down because it's important to know about his childhood his parents um because it's like just the way to see what he wants, why he wants to marry Tessa. So he, the whole institute's been trying to do that. Um, Tessa, Will, and Jim went to visit some really, really creepy old man who's like awful, by the way, um, to try to get information on him. And somehow, uh, Mortman found out where they were going and then sent one of those like clockwork things after them. So I have this hunch that someone inside the Institute is somehow getting information to Mortman. And right now my money is on Jessime or Jessie because she is always MIA. She's always in her room. She's awful. Too. She's like an evil, evil person. I cannot stand her. So I'm thinking that she's like got something to do with all of this. I don't know how she's doing it. Her and Mortman weren't close, but she like had a thing for Nate, but then Nate called her a whore and tried to kill her. But so I, I don't know how she's doing it. Like that's still confusing to me because I feel like she wouldn't want to talk to Nate or I wouldn't want to talk to Nate after getting called a whore and him almost trying to kill her. I mean, that's some pretty serious stuff that could turn off your feelings for someone, I feel, or should turn off your feelings for them, but I don't know. This is also a fantasy world, so, and Jesse is also very, very stupid, so I don't know. Um, but that's kind of my thoughts right now. Also, this whole will thing with the curse, I feel like the curse isn't real and that his older sister just happened to die and it was just a coincidence I don't know because I feel like a lot of people love Will and nobody's died Jim loves Will I know Tessa loves Will and Charlotte clearly loves Will so I know that there's so many people that love him and his mom and dad and his younger sister Cecily they all love him. They still love him still. Because I know that a mom and a dad just doesn't stop loving their kid. And neither do their siblings. So, I mean, I think the curse is fake. Um, I think that demon just said it to scare him because he was a little boy. But I don't think the curse is real. It just seems like it's not. Like, it doesn't make sense that it would be. But, like, as the story was getting told, I was like, I bet this isn't even real. Like, seriously. But, what, Logan? I'm vlogging. Okay, I'll, I'll come back in a minute. Okay. So, yeah. But those are my thoughts on this so far. Sorry I just picked up the camera and had so many thoughts about this book. And I just, oh, by the way, still have not finished Saga Volume 3. I'm going to, I swear. But I just wanted to pick up a real, real book tonight. Because I was just in the mood to. And I'm in a lot of pain. And I just wanted to read and escape into a world 
Um, it's actually not really the Crohn's that is hurting me. It's this arm. Here, I'll show you all again. <laughs> Nothing's really changed since the last time. Here, I don't even know how to do this. But, yeah. It's still pretty nasty. It just gets worse and worse by the hour, honestly. And it hurts really bad. So, I'm going to continue reading and I will update y'all later in... So, so it is the next day and I am reading Clockwork Prince and I seriously almost just cried and I never cry when I read but Will and Jim just had like the sweetest conversation and Will was like so passionate and like it was just so sad and if anybody's read it y'all know what I'm talking about it's after um the okay when will went to that opium den the drug place where he got drugs and it's like the next day or two days after something like that and um jim was like really mad at him because you know jim has to like live off the drug that uh will took and jim was just really angry with him understandably and Will is just, like, so scared that he wasn't going to forgive him. And he, like, pleaded with him and, like, was angry with himself. And it was just the saddest, saddest conversation and the sweetest conversation that I've ever, ever, ever read between characters. And they're both just, oh my god, it just broke my heart in half. And I just can't even deal with the amount of emotion that I just felt for these two people. Sometimes I get a little like unnerved about the amount of emotion I can feel for fictional characters because I don't know it's just it's crazy and if I feel this way with fictional characters you can imagine how much I love people in real life so not like in a weird way just like in a, you know like unconditional type of way but yeah they're just it was just really sad and it made me want to cry but now I'm gonna continue reading this. Sorry I haven't vlogged much by the way. I have kind of had a really weird sleeping schedule like I didn't go to bed last night until five in the morning and then I woke up at three this afternoon and now it's like one in the morning and I feel like it's eight o'clock at night obviously because I didn't wake up until three so but I have a doctor's appointment at 11 30 to see what the hell this thing is now it's like yellowish it's so gross honestly <laughs> I need to quit showing y'all you guys are probably like gross quit showing us that and no I will not film the uh draining process because that's just like I don't know like I watch like there's a YouTube channel called Dr. Pimple Popper I watch her all the time she like posts the most crazy videos and as y'all know I was going into the medical field. I still am not exactly sure what I'm going to do, but as of right now, I'm thinking I'm not going to go into the medical field um, just because I found a passion so much in reading lately that I kind of just really want to pursue that um, and writing as well. But anyways, I watch those all the time and... I just know that, like, my mom and my brother cannot stand to watch anything medical. Like, I've watched cancer getting removed from eyes. I've watched birthings. I've watched autopsies. I've watched a ton of things um, just, like, either from needing to watch it for class or just, you know, being on YouTube at 2 in the morning and wanting to be a medical student and just looking up surgeries and stuff because if I was going into the medical field I wanted to be a surgeon so I always would look up surgeries but um I know a lot of people like really really cannot stomach that like my mom and my brother and my dad actually can neither of none of them can stand watching there's something in my hair what the hell is that none of them can stand watching it but um so I'm not gonna like upload anything like that like that's super weird but and some of this might, this might even be too much for people, <laughs> but yeah. And I don't even know if it's a hematoma. I'll let y'all know what it is because it is really weird, like, that it just appeared out of nowhere. And then the next day I have to go to the hip doctor, and my hip doctor wants to talk about getting my left hip operated on. 
So yay, fun. I get to go through this again. And they really want me to do it now because I'm young and it'll just be so much easier recovery wise to have these surgeries now because I could wait years because it's not something that's like if I don't do this now it's gonna like really really affect me it affects me now because it hurts but it's not gonna like kill me or anything like I can wait but the thing is the longer you wait the worse the recovery is so I probably should just get it over with but I really don't want to so but I'm gonna continue reading and I will talk to y'all later Hey y'all, so it is Wednesday. No, it's not Wednesday, damn it. It's Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday, February 20th, sorry. Um, I have not really read much today. I've read a little bit, but not a ton. I'm on page 349 of Clockwork Prints. I'm close to being done with it. It has been such a good book. I've really, really, really enjoyed it. And... The irritating thing about this book, though, is that I really, really genuinely cannot decide who I want Tessa to end up with. And I'm really okay with both. I love both Will and Jim. And I just don't care who she ends up with. I care, but, like, I feel like I'm not going to be angry either way. I'm going to be heartbroken for the other guy, no matter who it is, because I love them both. This has been the most difficult love triangle I have ever read in my entire life, and I normally hate love triangles and I hate this one because like I love both of the guys so it's it's difficult but um yeah so that's my thought so on the book right now is that right now it's more Tessa and Jim that are together at the moment like they seem to be having like really strong feelings for each other um will Will's dealing with his own stuff, which I'm glad he's dealing with it. Um, at this point, I honestly don't have a pick, though, for who I want her to be with. Like I just said, like I just cannot say who I... Th this is the conflicting thing about this. When Tessa and Will kiss, I'm so excited, but then I'm also like, no, you should be kissing Jim, but I'm so happy that they're together. And then it's the same with Tessa and Jim. When they're, like, together and kissing and stuff, I'm so excited. I'm like, yay, yay, yay. And then I'm like, no, but what about Will? It's it's really, really confusing. And honestly, like, it can give me quite a headache sometimes because I just don't even know. But, um, by the way, I went to the doctor to get this thing checked out. It's turning yellow, as you can see, which is good. Um, and it doesn't hurt anymore. It was a hematoma. But we think it was caused by me injuring myself in my sleep because I had actually that morning woken up and my lamp and everything was like knocked off my bedside table. So I'm pretty sure I was fighting in my sleep, which I do often. Um, it's just something that I... I have nightmares every night, which is part of the reason I have such bad insomnia. I've told you guys that I don't sleep very much. And when I do sleep, it's not like I'm sleeping soundly. I'm fighting. I'm My body is not resting. Like, my mom comes into my room to check on me because she's just my mom and she is, does that. Um, and she will come in and I will be in the weirdest positions or I'll be, like, wrestling somebody or just tossing and turning or jerking or have my fist clenched really badly and I wake up a lot of the times very sore because I'm fighting um but I just have horrible nightmares and I've had them since I was a little girl and I just and in, in my bedroom actually I have lots I think I've showed y'all on my bookshelf and above my closet so that it's always bright in here I cannot sleep in darkness. It scares me to death. I'm always so scared that, like, somebody's, like, in the corner or something like that. Like, I know, weird, weird, weird things, but I'm absolutely terrified. Now, I don't want to say I'm terrified of the dark. I'm afraid of what lurks in the dark, more likely. But um, I also always sleep with my TV on. I turn my TV on, and I turn it on a really low volume, and I always turn it on Friends. And that way, if I wake up with a nightmare, I just turn up my TV and I watch Friends for a little while, and then I go back to sleep. So, um, I need to, like, 
see my psychiatrist about it. I haven't seen her in a while because I've been dealing with my Crohn's and I just need to go see her so I can tell her that I need to talk about my not tears or not mares. I don't know if they're not tears. I don't think they're not tears. I don't really know what a not tear is to be honest, but um, we talked about helping me with my nightmares before I stopped seeing her to deal with my Crohn's disease. So, um, something about like medication or something and like, yeah, but I just need to get it under control because I would really like to not be scared to go to sleep because most of the time the reason I lay in here awake at night is because I'm genuinely afraid to sleep and yeah, so... And I don't want to wake up with ginormous bruises on my arms anymore. And I'd like to not feel like I've been wrestling all that. Like, I wake up and my whole body is so sore. I'm like, oh my god, it hurts. And I know why it hurts. But yeah, I didn't. I honestly didn't think this was from the... Had anything to do with the fighting, though, in my sleep. Because it was just like... I don't know. I've just never had it happen before. So I was like, this is kind of weird. And also, it just... It was weird. So, yeah. But, that is my update. I have been not vlogging, like, consistently daily. I've been, like, vlogging once a day. And they're really long clips. So, I'm gonna try not to do that anymore. Um, but, yeah. It's just been kind of weird the past few days. I just have felt kind of funny. I think I'm kind of in a funk, like, mentally. I just think I'm kind of, like, I don't know. It happens sometimes. Sometimes I just get in this weird place and it's part of the anxiety, depression stuff. So it just, you get kind of, I don't even know how to describe it other than the fact that I call it a funk. I just, I don't know how to explain how I feel or make people understand who don't experience it, understand it. Because it's hard to explain. Because even I don't understand it sometimes. Like I'm just like, okay, I don't really understand what's happening. So it's hard for me to help other people understand it. But um, I'm gonna read a little while longer. I'm gonna try to go to bed at a decent hour tonight so that way I can wake up sometime in the morning and because I have another doctor's appointment for my hip tomorrow. Um, and wake up at a decent hour and start my day. But yeah, and I'm hoping the next time I vlog I'll be done with clockwork prints and then I'm gonna start vlogging like I was and trying to read more. Because I've been kind of really slow with my reading. Normally it takes me like a day or two to finish a book. And for some reason, Clockwork Prince has taken me like a week. And Court of Wing and Ruin, I haven't, I just, I don't even know. I really think I'm genuinely terrified to finish that book. I'm scared to death that something horrible is going to happen. But yeah, I feel like this vlog is going to be super, super boring. Because it's just been like the past three days, me picking up the camera at night, telling you my feelings on this book telling you about the stupid thing on my arm and then that's it so you know <laughs> it's a little dull but my life honestly hasn't been that interesting actually it hasn't been that interesting for quite some time now so yeah but <sighs> I'm gonna quit because this is eight minutes but I will see y'all later Bye. hey y'all hold on a second my phone's dirty <laughs> um I just finished Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. It is, it was so good. Oh my gosh, but I'm so emotional in this series. And I have decided that I want Tessa and Will to be together. For sure. I love Jim like so much. But, I don't know. I just want Tessa and Will to be together. I just decided that that's what I want. Because I didn't realize how much it was going to hurt to see all of, like I don't know. I just, I, I want Tessa and Will for sure now. I mean, that's just all I want. And maybe there's a way that, I don't know. I love Jim too, though. I don't, I don't know. I'm just so confused. But I do know for sure that I, I want Tessa and Will to be together. But this was so good. And that ending, oh my gosh, that was, that was crazy. Um, it was so, so good, though. I really, really liked it. And I don't know what's next in the Shadowhunter Chronicles. I'm thinking it's either City of Lost Souls or Tales of, or the Bane Chronicles or something. I can't remember. Um, so I'll read that one. Probably not the next book I'm going to read, but eventually. But I'm dying to read the third book of this Clockwork Princess. 
dying. So yeah, but that was way too good of a book. I'm going to have another book hangover. Um, I think I might try to read a classic next, maybe. We'll see. But tonight I'm going to sleep, so I will see you guys in the next vlog, and yeah.